This record breaker is the subject of the bonus biography round on Sports Challenge. This week's Sports Challenge are defending champions, the Bronx Bombers. All-star shortstop, Tony Kubek. Hall of Famer, Nicky Mantle. And Mr. Perfect Game, Don Larson. Meet the challenge of the 1957 world champion, Milwaukee Braves. Record-breaking pitching ace, Lou Burdett. Hall of Famer, Warren Spahn. And all-time great third baseman, Eddie Matthews. And now, here is your Sports Challenge host, Dick Enberg. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Yankees and Braves, and welcome, fans from coast to coast and around the world to Sports Challenge. So, a rematch of the 1957 World Series, and a great series it was as the Yankees met the Braves, and the Braves in the seventh game under their manager, Fred Haney, brought the World's Championship to the city in Wisconsin that has supported baseball so well down through the years. Braves look great. And the Yankees, they've been playing well. And uh, Mickey Mantle has just been hitting them out of the park here. You're going to have to watch him. I, I really didn't know you were that bright in sports trivia. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> Try to relax, though, and enjoy it today, will you, Mickey? <laughs> uh, we're going to begin our first category rather appropriately. Hall of Famers, and we're going to look at one of the, if not the greatest left-hander of all time, pitching a milestone in baseball history right after this sports challenge timeout. <laughs> The Outback has finally come to town. Introducing the Subaru Outback sedan. A completely new kind of car that combines the rugged traction and control of full-time all-wheel drive with a decidedly uptown look. My car to town. Outback sedan, yet another first from Subaru. Sam Adams. It's what's inside. It was tough for a while, though, I gotta be honest. We had debt, a lot of debt. It was really hurting our relationship, and we had about six to eight credit cards going. Just debt up we to our We were all maxed I mean, out, there seemed to be no way to, to get out, so. It was, it was a strain, thanks. But we did, we got out. We called a company called uh, Genus Credit Management. They don't make loans, because that's the last thing we needed. You gather up your bills, tell them what you pay, and they reduce your payment. If you have a debt problem, call Genius Credit Management, the nation's largest credit counseling service. We work with your creditors to lower your monthly payments. In just 30 minutes over the phone, we can help you avoid bankruptcy and get the bill collectors off your back. We're nonprofit, so our service is free. The best part? We don't fight about money anymore. We just fight about everything else. There is help, and it's as close as your phone. Not too bad. Get your bills together and call Genus Credit Management. It's not a loan. It's a way out of debt. You know, I'm real excited about the brand new 6 p.m. Sports Center. I just hope they don't feel the need to make a lot of changes and shake things up. Take a lesson from the Flintstones, like when they brought that little green guy, Kazoo, in. What's up with that? You're watching Sports Challenge, only on ESPN Classic. The New York Yankees and the Milwaukee Braves on Sports Challenge. Here we go, in the first category, Hall of Famers. And a milestone in the career of one of our panelists. It's August 1961, and a 40-year-old Southpaw is making his way into the baseball history books. Warren Spahn has given these Milwaukee fans so many great thrills and in great numbers. A sellout crowd at County Stadium tonight to cheer Spahn on as he goes for his 300th Major League victory against the Chicago Cubs. The Cubs with a run in the sixth inning have tied it at one. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Gino Simoli up for the Braves. He swings at a Jack Curtis fastball and it's gone into the left field bleachers. Milwaukee leads two to one. Spahn now has only three outs to go to get his 300th win. Two away. Up is Jim McEnany. Fly ball to right field. Henry Aaron is there. He's got it. And Warren Spahn has become the first National League pitcher since Grover Cleveland Alexander in 1924 to win 300 Major League games. 
Do you, do you remember, Spawny, that exit? You took off your cap and blew a kiss to the crowd? <laughs> How well? You know, you don't forget things like that. All right, let's see if you can come up with the answer. You're both alive. Toss-up. Hall of Famer Warren Spawn won 363 games in his 21 years. 13 times Spawny won 20 or more in one season, a record for left-handers. An American League left-hander, also a Hall of Fame pitcher, won 300 games lifetime and won 20 or more games in a season eight times. For 20 points, name that American League. Yes, Lou Burdett. Early win. Early win is incorrect. Left-hander now. Left win did win right. 300, but we want, now we can give a clue to the Yankees. He was with the Philadelphia A's and the Red Sox, and he was known as Old Man Mose. Five seconds. Take your time, folks. Time is up. Oh, Lefty Grove, Lefty Grove, Robert Moses Grove. No points, so the free throws are played as toss-ups. Here's only seven moments in the career of a Hall of Fame quarterback in just one football game. It's the Giants and the Redskins, October 1962. October 1962, Yankee Stadium, New York. The Giants and the Washington Redskins and Y.A. Tittle to throw, looking for Joe Morrison. Touchdown, 22 yards to Morrison. Yelverton, Abraham Tittle, play action fake to Alex Webster, looking in the end zone for Joe Walton. Five yards and another giant score. Tittle has two, looking for his third. Again, the fake to Webster, roll left, one yard toss, touchdown, Morrison. For his fourth, he shows he's not fussy. Tittle to Schaffner, and Schaffner with a great one-handed catch and a touchdown. Tittle has four. It's Walton again, 26 yards for another giant score. The longest of the day for Tittle. Coming up, Frank Gifford goes deep, and Tittle hits him with a perfect rainbow. The sixth touchdown pass for Y.A. Tittle. He goes now for the record. Only two other men have thrown seven in one NFL game. He looks for Walton. He's got him! A six-yard touchdown, seven scores for Y.A. Tittle, who throws for 505 yards passing. Incredible day. All right, you just saw Y.A. Tittle, who was last week's mystery guest here on Sports Challenge, throw seven touchdowns in one game. No one has ever done better. Only four others ever equaled that mark of seven. For ten points, you're both alive. Name any one of the four. Seven touchdowns in one NFL game. Mickey? Joe Namath? Joe Namath did not. So we can give 20 points to the Braves. Would you like to take a guess? How about Bart Starr? Bart Starr did not either. Two good guesses they were. Sid Luckman, Adrian Burke, George Blanda and Joe Cat. No points there, second free throw. Here's a Hall of Famer with his contribution to baseball's all-time record book. First game doubleheader here at Griffith Stadium, and Joe DiMaggio with 40 consecutive games in which he has had at least one base hit, has a chance to set a new modern-day record. George Sisler's 41 stands now. DiMaggio 0 for 2 in this first game, sixth inning, Dutch Leonard on the mound, and DiMaggio needs a base hit. Leonard into the windup. DiMaggio swings and laces one into left center field. It's between the outfielders. DiMaggio round first on his way to second. A double for DiMaggio. He's hit safely in 41 straight games to tie the mark. And in the second game of this doubleheader, off Red Anderson. Last time up, DiMaggio singles. He now owns the record, and the Yankees celebrate. Skipper Joe McCarthy, Tommy Henrik, and all the pinstripers celebrate Joe DiMaggio's 42 straight games. And, of course, as we all know, DiMaggio extended his record of consecutive game hitting to 56, and that'll probably stand for all time. For 10 points, Milwaukee or New York, what former Yankee right fielder holds the World Series record? He hit safely, Mickey Mantle. Hank Bauer. Hit safely in 17 consecutive World Series games. Hank Bauer is correct, Mick, and you have 10 points. I can do it. All right, that's the end of the first round. The Yankees have a slim 10-0 lead. We have a new category, and it's the unexpected. And when R.C. Owens was in the NFL executing his famous alley-oop catches, football fans came to expect the unexpected from him. Bob Kayad of the Washington Redskins to try a 40-yard field goal against the Colts. The ball is down. The kick is up. It's going to be very close. R.C. Owens underneath the crossbar. And Owens leaps high, and he deflects it away. No good. Owens, known for those alley-oop catches, has just taken a three-pointer away from the Redskins. He's knocked out of bounds at the 15. In that case, 
Owen's goaltending was legal. He stopped the field goal. For your 20-point toss-up, you're all football fans, I know, how many feet off the ground is the crossbar in football? Mickey? Ten feet. Ten feet. You sure of that? No. Well, but you're right. It's ten <laughs> feet, and that's worth 20 points. Good way to remember that. The crossbar is the same height off the ground as the basketball hoop is in basketball. Ten feet. Mantle gives the Yankees that toss-up question. That's worth 20 points. So it's 30 to nothing now, and your free throws. This unexpected achievement in the 57 World Series stars one of our panelists today. Wilbur Dad and the Milwaukee Braves lead the Yankees 5 nothing. Bottom of the ninth, one out. Gil McDougal, line drive, center field, base hit. The Yankees, known for their late-inning rallies, have a man on. Jerry Coleman with two away, slices one to right field. That's in for a base hit. Two on for the Yankees, two out, bottom of the ninth. Seventh deciding game of this 1957 World Series. Tommy Byrne hits for himself. Ground ball headed for center field. Felix Mantia knocks it down and, and is picked up by the shortstop Johnny Logan. The bases are full. Two outs and here comes Bill Scourin. Is this another edition of that five o'clock lightning of the Yankees? Can they come from behind? Five nothing. Eddie Matthews guarding the line deep at third. Bases full. Burdett winds. Scourin swings. Pulls one down the line. Backhanded by Matthews. He goes to the bag for the force out. And the Milwaukee Braves are the 1957 world champions of baseball. All right, That's your great. question. In 1963, another Yankee was cast off to the Dodgers, and he helped Los Angeles sweep the Yankees in the 63 series. For 10 points, it belongs to New York. Who was that ex-Yankee? Moose Garin. Bill Moose Garin is correct. That's worth 10 points. <laughs> it's 40 to nothing. Free throw belongs to New York. In landing an airplane, you let down your flaps only when the runway is assured. In scoring a touchdown, it's unexpected to let your hair down, the ball down, before the end zone is assured. Watch very carefully. The 1970s, the era of the touchdown drama. The player punctuating his invasion of the end zone with a signal, a signal of triumph. Take, for example, the Steelers' Dave Smith. He's got the ball. He's open. On his way to the end zone. The signal, the signal of triumph. But the NFL rulebook has long decreed a touchdown results when a player with possession of the ball crosses the goal line. And no football, no TD. A lonely moment for Dave Smith, no touchdown. Dave Smith was traded shortly thereafter. His uniform, though, number 88, was given to another end who became the most valuable player in Super Bowl X. For 10 points, name that Pittsburgh end, number 88. They have five seconds. No, this belongs to the Yankees. They have five seconds. Time's up now. Milwaukee, we can give you 20 points. Okay, Pearson. Is a good guess. He was one of the ends, but it was Lynn Swan, who were yeah. number 88. So no points there. And at the end of the first half of our Play on Sports Challenge, it's the New York Yankees 40. Milwaukee Braves looking for those first points. And we're pleased to announce that you guest star panelists will receive our new Sports Challenge records featuring actual play-by-play -play highlights of thrilling moments in baseball and some provocative questions and answers for trivia fans. Mickey's been playing them. I think that's where he's getting a lot of his information. I know he's enjoying them. I know you will, too. We'll be back with our third category, Superstars. We'll see Reggie Jackson in action right after this Sports Challenge timeout. <laughs> When pliers won't grip, ratchets won't click, and wrenches won't fit, you just have to quit. No way! Introducing the Squeeze Wrench. It works in virtually any space and fits any place. Look, in this tight space, an ordinary wrench can't turn. But with the Squeeze Wrench, you can easily tighten with no trouble at all. Now secure a ceiling fan or easily install a light fixture. You can even reach a bolt behind the oven without moving it. The secret is internal ratchet action that allows you to get power in impossible places. You get the squeeze wrench, five metric socket inserts, and four standard socket inserts. This quarter-inch bit adapter and two screwdriver bits, all for only $19.95. Plus, we'll include this compact carry case free. The squeeze wrench comes with a lifetime replacement warranty. If it ever fails, we'll replace it free for life. Order now. Call 1-800-532-7766 to order your squeeze wrench for just $19.95 and receive the bonus carry case free. We also accept checks by phone. 
I love coaching, but today there are more important challenges. You know, two out of three kids can't read at grade level, but not these kids. They took the Hooked on Phonics reading challenge to become better readers. Most of the kids in my class don't read very well. My teacher said I was doing a lot better. Now the other kids in class are asking me to read for them. Hooked on Phonics worked for me. Hooked on Phonics can work for your kids, too. Your child can be a better reader in just four weeks or your money back. Call to order must be 18 or older. With your paid order, get the Start Right CD-ROM free. Call 1-800-ABCDEFG. Football Classics, Wednesdays at 9, only on ESPN Classic. Are you old school? You're watching Sports Challenge, only on ESPN Classic. After two rounds of Sports Challenge, Mickey Mantle, Tony Kubek, and Tom Larson of the Yankees have 40. Burdett, Spahn, and Matthews looking for their first points. Plenty of time yet for you to catch up. New category is Superstars. And here's a superstar wrapping up a World Series for his team. Seventh game, 73 series. The Oakland A's on Campanera's home run lead the Mets 2-0. Here's Kurt Gowdy, and watch very closely. Campy's cloud was the first Oakland home run of the series. And no one is more aware of that and the American League home run king, Reggie Jackson. need a call there. The sound, even on the, on the television recording of that shot by Jackson, told you it was gone. With a question now, this is the toss-up. You're both alive. Reggie Jackson, the most valuable player in that 1973 World Series. We ask you to watch the film closely. That was a 4-0 win. It was the seventh game, and the A's had won again. For 20 points, who was the... John Matlock. Have... John Matlock. Who was the pitcher who threw up the home run? It was John Matlack of the New York Mets. That's right. I guess I didn't get out the P sound for pitcher when you jumped in with that answer. John Matlack was a hard luck loser. The Yankees get the free throws. And we go to May 1971, a classic mile race between superstars Jim Ryan and Marty LaCourie. Let's listen to Bill Toomey and Jack Whitaker. Matchup, Jim Ryan once held three world records at one time the mile, the 1500 meters, and the 880. All have since been broken. Yankees, your free throw. For 10 points, what one time Olympic star set or tied six world records in one day? You have five seconds. Jesse Owens? Jesse Owens is correct in a meet at Ann Arbor, Michigan. 70 to nothing. Final free throw for the Yankees. Here's a basketball superstar and the turning point as the Knicks win the 73 NBA title. It's the Lakers and the New York Knicks. Here's Chick Hearn. The Lakers have gotten to within striking distance now, and uh, Bill Charman wants them to stay there if they can. All right. That doesn't mean Gale won't be back. Ball into Meminger. We've got 14 in the 24-second clock. Meminger with 10 on the 24-second clock. Looks for a man. Give to Reed. He's outside. He fakes. Didn't travel. Give to Monroe. He drops it. Bradley picks the garbage. Four on the timer. The Bushers with three, with two. They fire at the buzzer. It's no good. Rebound is off. The Bushers got a score. That's the count. Save the 
Butcher got inside of a seven foot two man Chamberlain not only got the rebound put it up and was fouled by Chamberlain. That's one of the best efforts I've ever seen on a basketball floor by any player. Dave DeBusher. By before joining the Knicks, superstar Dave DeBusher coached an NBA team for 10 points. New York, name the team. DeBusher head coach. Five seconds. New York Nets. Is incorrect. All right, we go to Milwaukee. You can get 20 points on your side, Milwaukee. If you can tell me the team, pro team, that Dave DeBusher coached. As a player coach. Philadelphia. Good guess. Detroit Pistons. Detroit Pistons was the answer. All right, here we go. This is our classic, our fourth category. You can still get back in the game, Milwaukee, if you come up with the answer. One question worth a big 30 points. Joe Medwick, 34, St. Louis Cardinals, was involved in one of the strangest moments in World Series history. We go to game seven in Detroit, and here's Leo DeRocha. Gang locked in talent. They made up and got. In the last game, we were winning nine to nothing, but still, Medwick started the fight, sliding in the third. Medwick got back to the outfield. The Detroit fans were ready for him. They threw everything they could lay their hands on. I don't even know where they got half the stuff. Kennesaw Mountain Landis was commissioner of baseball, and the old judge called Frick and Medwick over. He asked Ducky if he had kicked the Tiger third baseman. Medwick said, yeah, but that's the way I always slide. Judge Landis ordered Medwick out of the game, but not for fighting. He was the only man ever thrown out of a World Series for his own protection. And, of course, uh, the Cardinals, the Gas House Gang, went on to win that World Series. Your question worth 30 points. Judge Landis, you saw in that picture, was baseball's first commissioner. He was appointed in 1920. He held the post until his death in 1944. For 30 points, what U.S. senator... Tony Kubek. Happy Chandler. Succeeded Judge Landis as baseball commissioner. It was Happy Chandler. 30 more points for the Yankees. Wow, they're tough. Going for their fourth in a row. And after four rounds, it's the New York Yankees 100. And the Milwaukee Braves are wearing the collar. We'll be right back with our all-important 60-point bonus biography round and introduce our mystery guest right after this sports challenge timeout. At Invesco, we know that the financial world isn't always as it seems. The big economic picture can always change quickly. And to manage a fund, Invesco knows you need to be on top of the changing picture and know how it might affect you right at home. To learn more about aggressive growth opportunities with the Invesco Endeavor Fund, call your financial advisor or Invesco. You should know what Invesco knows. Look out, motorists. Old man winter's out to get you. You're cold and cool and you don't fight fair. That's okay. See if I care. No matter what winter throws at you, Presto Nanny Freeze is how you Come fight back. Come hit me with your best shot. Kick old man winter in the teeth with the number one way to fight corrosion and protect your aluminum radiator to 84 below. Hit me with your best shot. Get in the Presto zone so nothing can stop you now. Hi, I'm Bob Vila, and I want to show you another great innovation in Craftsman hand tools. It's the Craftsman Quick Wrench, exclusively from Sears. The Quick Wrench is a combination wrench with a unique open-end design that makes it work like a ratchet. An ordinary open-end wrench has to be removed and repositioned after every turn. But the Craftsman Quick Wrench stays in continuous contact, making the job faster and easier. And what about those places where a ratchet and socket won't fit? That's where the quick wrench really comes in handy. It's made to reach right into tight spaces, and the ratcheting action gets the job done in no time. The Craftsman Quick Wrench can be used almost anywhere, in the garage, in the yard, and in your home. No toolbox is complete without a quick wrench set. And because it's a Craftsman hand tool made in America, it's guaranteed forever. Call now to order your set of six Craftsman quick wrenches in standard or metric for only $19.99 plus shipping and handling. Use your Sears or other credit card and call 1-800-522-7997. Call right now. Tonight on ESPN at 6 Sports Center, at 7 Up Close, at 8 The Kings Penguins, and at 11 Sports Center. On ESPN2 at 7 RPM tonight, at 7.30 NFL tonight, at 8 Sports Center of the Decade, and at 10 Sports Century Athlete number 14. 
and on ESPN Classic at 9 Sugar Race Hit Parade and at 10 Big Fights Boxing Hour. Do you have all the ESPN networks? You're watching Sports Challenge, only on ESPN Classic. Well, it's been the New York Blitzkrieg on Sports Challenge. The Yankees 100 and the Milwaukee Braves nothing. And it's time now for our bonus biography round. Have some fun with it. Let's see who gets our mystery guest today. 60 points to the winner. Here are your clues. This record breaker exchanged his uniform for a microphone. He wore number 30, the Dodger captain, but his favorite number was 104. Mickey Mantle. Maury Wills. Maury Wills is correct, and you've done it, haven't you? The Yankees have won the game very convincingly, and here's a man who just recently had his record for stolen bases broken by Lou Brock, Maury Wills. You look in shape. Looks like you could go out and steal a couple three right now. Well, I've been keeping in shape uh, with the microphone. Yes, that, you enjoy it? I love it, love it. You do a great job. Thank you. Let, let's pass along one tip. And I, I watched you uh, 15 years ago when you had a bunch of college coaches and you were talking about base stealing techniques. Let, give the youngsters maybe a couple little tips that they might use to be a better base stealer. How can they, like the left-hander, one tip, the left-handed pitcher, you're on first base. What can you do that, that would help you be a better base stealer? One thing about uh, left-handers. For instance, 80% of all left-handers, Dick, with, let's say home plates this way and first base towards you. So I'm the baseman. Right. When they want to throw the ball to first base, when he makes his initial move, he'll be looking home, and he wants to go to first. If he's going home, when he makes his initial move, he'll look at the runner. Now, he tries to make the runner think that just because he's looking at him, he's coming over there, but he's going home. It's just a reverse. So sometimes the, the pitcher would be looking at you, and you'd be running towards second base, and he That's couldn't right. stop himself. I'll never forget Al Jackson pitched for the Mets. <laughs> With going to stretch position, he made his move. He's looking at me. I would be running, and he's looking like this, and he can't change it. Nothing he can do. Maury, well, Tony thank you for back. being with us. My pleasure. Dick. Tony Kubek, Mickey Mantle, Don Larson have won again. Maury Wills, our mystery guest, and we'll talk to our stars, recap the scores. Tell you about next week's challenges right after this sports challenge timeout. Is your child getting C's and D's when you know he or she is capable of A's and B's? I wasn't getting good marks in reading. It was painful for me as a parent to see Jessica struggling with reading. Frank's game was a fun way to learn how to read. At first I thought it was too good to be true, but there's a money back guarantee. Here's the phonics game promise. One full letter grade improvement on your child's next report card or your money back. Using the phonics game, I saw an improvement in two weeks. Her teacher came up to me at school and told me that she had seen a great improvement. Reading is fun and easy for her now. She's proud to show me her report card. I really like school now and get, getting good grades. The phonics game is worth every penny. The phonics game is fast, it's fun, and it works. Call. Consult with the phonics game representatives. Soon your child will be playing his way to better grades in reading. See results on the next report card or your money back. Must be 18 or older to call. If you're ready to lose weight, muscle up, and get back into shape, I've got a free video you're going to love. Introducing a winning fitness strategy. you got to eat healthy, drink plenty of water, and most importantly, strength train with both legs. Strength training adds muscle. Not only does your shape look better, you actually increase your metabolism, so you end up burning more calories. Strength training these days isn't just for men. It's great for women, too. And Bowflex is designed for both. It's even been called the best home gym by Fitness Magazine. Use as little as 5 pounds to more than 400 pounds of resistance. Follow our six-week fast fat loss program or create your own from over 60 different health club quality exercises. Bowflex is easy to own, and it fits in any room in your house. It comes with a six-week guarantee on results, and you can finance it with no money down and payments as low as $33 per month. Hey, I'm 41, and I'm in the best shape of my life. And I can tell you, Bowflex really does work. For a free video and brochure on the machine that can help you get into great shape at any age, call right now. Robinson dancing down the line at third. Robinson heading for the plate as Ford delivers the ball. The slide. Robinson is safe. He's safe. This is ESPN Classic. Maury said those clues were so easy that he even got it. I don't know what that means. Maury Wills is our guest. The New York Yankees have just handed out the first shutout ever on Sports <laughs> Challenge. And the Milwaukee Braves, good sports at the R said, as long as it's going to happen for the first time, they're glad it was them. And next week, fans, the Yankees go for what? Five in a row. 
Maybe they can be stopped by the Hockey Los Angeles Kings. Marcel Dion, Rogi Vashan, and Bob Nevin. For Sports Challenge, this is Dick Andrew. This is ESPN Classic, the Classic Sports Network. This great All-Pro is the subject of the bonus biography round on Sports Challenge. This week's Sports Challenge, our defending champion is the New York Yankees, Tony Kubek, Mickey Mantle, and Don Larson. Meet the challenge of the Los Angeles Kings. Lady Ding Trophy winner, Marcel Dion. Desiree Trophy winner, Rogi Vachon. And right winner, Bob Nevin. And now, here is your sports challenge host, Dick Enberg. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Teams and welcome fans from coast to coast and around the world to Sports Challenge. The New York Yankees, four in a row. They, let's see, they've knocked off a couple of baseball teams, the Cincinnati Reds and the old Milwaukee Braves. We tried a couple of football teams. The Rams couldn't stop them, neither could the 49ers. So we've gone to hockey, and the Los Angeles Kings will challenge them. And some great stars, Dion, Vachon, and Evan. And a game that I've always admired because it kind of combines the, all of the violence of football and yet the grace and beauty of ballet. We'll begin our first category, Game Savers, and a catch that saved an entire World Series right after this Sports Challenge timeout. Hey! He's in the garage. Hey! If you're going to have a garage, have a garage. And if you're going to use an oil, use an oil. Penn's oil with Pure Base, specially formulated for stop and go driving. Like what I've done with the place? Hey, what does this do? Well, that opens up the roof so I can airlift anything in or out of the garage. Stop! Go! Depends on. And for long lasting glossy tires, spring on Black Magic Tire Wet, the original waterproof shine. He's Denver's fourth all time leading rusher. On any given day, this back could pile up yardage, elude tacklers, and score at will. Yeah, this Denver back played his position like no one else. Did I mention he's a quarterback? Expect more from an original. Original cores, brewed a mile high. Coors in a yellow can. Now that's original. Architectural firms need you. Civil engineers need you. High-tech companies need you. If you know computer-aided drafting, top companies need you today. To develop computer-aided drafting skills employers are looking for, call 1-800-791-2908 for an informative brochure. That's 1-800-791-2908. But call now because construction companies need you. City planners need you. Landscape architects need you. Welcome to the future of drafting. Wow, I bet the guys that run this stuff spent years in school. No, you might be surprised. So what are the chances of me getting to work here? Well, first of all, you gotta love to draw. And second? And second, you gotta call ITT Tech. For an informative brochure, call ITT Tech at 1-800-791-2908. That's 1-800-791-2908. Hey guys, if you have thinning hair, call 1-800-HAIR-CLUB now and we'll send you our new 40-page hair loss update. It covers the most up-to-date information on hair growing drugs and methods, as well as Hair Club's most natural looking non-surgical hair development to date. You don't feel any difference in this hair, this hair. Now that I am a Hair Club client, I would never go back. Call 1-800-HAIR-CLUB now and get your free booklet. That's one 800 Hair Club. Takes the snap. He drops straight back. Has some time. Now scrambles away from one hit. Look. Uncorks the deep one for the end zone. Phelan is down there. You're watching Sports Challenge, only on ESPN Classic. 
All right, on Sports Challenge, the New York Yankees go for their fifth straight against the Los Angeles Kings. Men, our first category, game savers. The Dodgers and the Yankees locked in a tense struggle. It's game seven. The Yankees lead four to two, but in the seventh inning, the Dodgers have the bases loaded, two out, and Jackie Robinson is up. Jackie Robinson up, bases loaded for Brooklyn, seventh inning, 4-2 Yankees. Brillo at third, Cox at second, Reese at first, they lead away. Bob Casaba delivers. Robinson swings and sends a high pop fly on the infield. Collins doesn't come in from first. Here's Billy Martin. Martin with a great catch. He saves the game. He did a great play. Game saver Billy Martin was traded away from the Yankees in 1957, but he has returned as their manager. Billy Martin managed three other American League teams. For your 20-point toss-up, name one. Bob Nevin. Texas Rangers. Texas Rangers is correct, and the Kings jump out to an early lead, 20 to nothing. That'll be interesting to see how the Yankees react. They haven't been behind in about a month. When you're the L.A. Kings right winger and you're Bob Nevin, how appropriate this is, from South Porcupine, Ontario, thank you, you have a penalty shot against goalie Tony Esposito. You're in a sticky situation. Here's Bob Miller. Scoring, steals it, gives it to Nevin, down the middle, all alone. Nevin in front, he didn't get a shot. A penalty called, penalty shot coming up. The puck will be placed at the center ice. Nevin clearly ahead, pulled out here. That's one of the great moments in sports. Bob Nevin converts to the Los Angeles Kings. Let's see how you do on your free throw. Tony Esposito won the Vezina Trophy as the NHL's top goalie three times, the man that Nevin beat on that play. For 10 points, what goalie won the Conn Smythe Trophy, the MVP in the Stanley Cup playoffs, back-to-back, -back, 74 and 75? Yes, Marcel? Bernie Perrant. Bernie Perrant of the Philadelphia Flyers. It's 30 to nothing, Kings. All right, here's a game saver that won the 1969 NBA title, the Celtics and Lakers in Game 7. Time running out. The Lakers have a chance to tie. West with a dribble. Off to Egan. Egan in the corner to Erickson. Erickson shot deflected. Russell tips to Havlicek. Boston with the ball. Havlicek in the backcourt. Siegfried with the honors. Moves it into the offensive end. Erickson double team. Siegfried off to Havlicek. Erickson hawking the ball. Havlicek looking for the open man. Deflected away. It goes to Nelson. Up for the 15-footer. Off the iron. Goal! The Celtics win. Another title. And Red makes it official. One of the great coaches in any sport, Red Auerbach. And Nelson with that high, kind bounce and back through the hole for the winning goal. Havlicek and Siegfried, who set up that Nelson field goal, were college teammates at Ohio State for 10 points. Kings, who was their All-American center with the Buckeyes? Havlicek, Siegfried, and who was the center? Time's up. Three men from Canada don't follow college basketball that closely, I'm sure. But you can get 20 points, Yankees. Who was the center? Jerry Lucas. Jerry Lucas is correct for 20 points. That was a great Buckeye team. 30 to 20, the Kings lead after the first round. And here's our second category, the unexpected. The unexpected, and when you score the hat trick against the Boston Bruins in a Stanley Cup playoff, that's unexpected. Here's Ron Oakes. Dallas Smith sent it around the side, missed, picked up by O'Reilly, loose near the line, taken by Dion, drops it back. Murphy wound up to shoot. Here's Dion right on the free court. A terrific ball. Marcel Dion. It's Dion in the corner, right on the front. Just missed by Corrigan. Here's the shot by Goring. Band on Dion. Turns score. There's the pass the end. A pass across. To Hutchison. As the Kings finally come out, Dion takes it back, winds up, and shoots, scores! Look at my show, the out of the dance out there! Little Beaver's got the hat trick! His hat's coming down all over the ice! All right, here's your question. Marcel Dion set a rookie record when he scored 77 points in the 1972 season with the Red Wings. The leading scorer that year, 72, was a Boston Bruin who holds the NHL record for most points scored in one season, 152. Name that ex-Boston Bruin, Bob Nevin. Phil Esposito. Phil Esposito is the correct answer. The record uh, breaker, and of course, his brother, Tony Esposito. All right, it's 50 to 20. 
Your free throw, Kings. This unexpected play in 1954 will never be forgotten by 75,000 Cotton Bowl fans. All-American Dickie Magel of Rice, 79 yards for a touchdown, and Rice leads Alabama 7-6 here in the Cotton Bowl. From their own five-yard line, the Owls have the ball again. A give is to Magel, sweeping wide to the outside. Two great blocks at the 10, 15, 20, breaks into the clear down the sidelines. Looks as if Magel's going to go 95 yards for a touchdown. He's in midfield at all. Tommy Lewis, Lewis, number 42, the fullback of Alabama. He hides himself on the bench. And impulsively, uh, Lewis has jumped off the sidelines, tackling Mago. Bama can't stop the great All-American halfback. Lewis saw that Mago was going to go for a touchdown, and he tackled him, the 12th man on the field. It's uh, unsportsmanlike conduct, and Rice will be awarded a touchdown. Yes, sir, that makes it 13-6. to Mago scores three long touchdowns of 79, 95, and 34 yards, and even Lewis off the bench. Can't stop Rice as they beat Bama 28-6. All right, college football, Kings, I know you're braced for this. Before Dickie Magel's historic run, Alabama's quarterback fumbled on the Rice five-yard line to set up that incredible play. They wound up to a 95-yard touchdown. The Alabama quarterback that day became an NFL immortal, and he's now coaching the NFL team for which he starred. You have five seconds to give me his name. Yes. Bart Starr? Bart Starr is correct, Rogie Vachon, for 10 points. It is 60 to 20. Hey, these Kings are tough customers. They're little board checks here on the Yankees. Here we go to your second free throw. Whenever you pitch a no-hitter for nine innings in the major leagues, that's truly unexpected. But when you pitch 12 perfect no-hit innings and lose, that's unbelievable. It's May 1959, Pittsburgh at Milwaukee. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the most incredible pitching performances in baseball history. Harvey Haddix out after out after out. 12 perfect innings against the Braves. No score, bottom of the 13th inning. Haddix works to Felix Mantilla. Ground ball to third. Hope's throw is in the dirt. Gets away from Rocky Nelson, backed up by Burgess. That breaks the string after 12 perfect innings. Eddie Matthews up for the Braves. He sacrifices, and it's successful as Mantilla moves to second. Aaron has walked intentionally. That brings up Joe Adcock. No score, bottom of the 13th. Adcock throws one to deep center field. Burden back to the wall. He leaps. It's gone. A home run for Adcock. And a heartbreak loss for Harvey Haddix. He loses the ball game despite the fact he pitched 12 perfect innings. And even in victory, there's plenty of confusion here in Milwaukee. The confusion existed because, although that should have been a three-run home run by Adcock, Henry Aaron didn't run the bases. He just thought it was all over. So only one run counted, and the final score was 1-0. But the real story was Harvey Haddix. Kings, your free throw. Two National League pitchers have pitched nine inning perfect games since that one. Each one won the game one to nothing. Name either perfecto pitcher. Perfect games. You have five seconds. Is your answer, Marcel? Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan, no perfect game. Wrong league. Good guess. Yankees, name one of the two. Right. Sandy Koufax. Koufax did it, and so did Jim Bunning. So after two rounds, the score. The Los Angeles Kings, the Challengers, 60, and the New York Yankees have 40. And we're pleased to announce that you guest star panelists receive the new Sports Challenge records featuring actual play-by-play -play highlights of some of the greatest moments in baseball and some pretty interesting questions and answers, too, for you trivia fans. We know you'll enjoy them, and we're going to be right back with our third category, Unforgettable Moments, and a moment in thoroughbred racing history, Johnny Longdon's last race. Right after this, Sports Challenge timeout. <laughs> If you're a woodworker, you know there's nothing like taking a piece of wood, cutting it, shaping it, finishing it, to create something of pride and lasting beauty. And there's nothing like this. 101 Shop Tips for Woodworkers, yours free. It's full of clever shop tips and techniques that will save you time and money, like the quick trick for making wood plugs, or how to insert a dowel with a shop-made depth gauge, the fail-safe way to bore wide holes in narrow stock, and many more. This handy shop guide is free when you order cabinet making for just $9.99. Cabinet making is loaded with step-by-step -step photos and illustrations. You'll learn at a glance how to choose the right joinery for the job, build frames and panels, doors and drawers for results you'll be proud of. Shop test future Art of Woodworking books with no commitment to buy. Use your credit card and get a free Shop Secrets video. Come spend an hour with four master craftsmen as they share their woodworking secrets. A $30 value, yours free. 
Call now. Order cabinet making at the regular price of $9.99 and get 101 shop tips for woodworkers free. Use your credit card and get a free Shop Secrets video. A low, low price for a high power package. Call 1-800-799-0066 to order cabinet making for $9.99 and get free your 101 shop tips. Use your credit card and get a free Shop Secrets video. That's 1-800-799-0066. Call now. Counting down the top 20, this nine-time Olympic champion dazzled the world with his unparalleled athleticism and his gold. Sports Century athlete number 12, Carl Lewis, Friday at 10.30 on ESPN, presented by General Motors. You're watching Sports Challenge, only on ESPN Classic. All right, after two rounds, the score. The Los Angeles Kings 60, the New York Yankees have 40. And here we go, our new category is Unforgettable Moments, and here is an unforgettable moment that's packed with sentiment. March 1966, it's the San Juan Capistrano Handicap at Santa Anita. Johnny Longdon announced win or lose, this is his last race. He's riding number 10, George Royal. He's on the outside in the stretch run as we pick up Joe Hernandez. It's Pratt and George Royal. George Royal, Pratt and Tom Pat. It's the Pratt to George Royal, Tom Pat. Here's it on the run of any guy, Wilson. What a way to bow out. The winningest jockey all time, Johnny Longdon, retires after a fantastic ride aboard the long shot, George Royal. The emotional tears of his daughter, Andrea, and his wife, Hazel, combined with the cheers of this big Santa Anita crowd, salute the dramatic end to a tremendous career for Johnny Longdon. And like the way... Ted Williams went out in his last at bat with a home run. All right, your question. Toss up both sides. Over 6,000 wins for Longdon. Purses of $25 million. And Longdon won the Triple Crown, too, in 1943. For your 20-point toss-up, can you name the horse that Longdon rode to the Triple Crown of Racing? Alphabetically, was it Assault, Count Fleet, War Admiral, or Whirl Away? One of those four did it. Was it Assault, Count Fleet, Mickey Mantle? Whirl Away. Whirl Away is incorrect, so that means you can guess from three kings. Was it Assault, Count Fleet, or War Admiral? Count Fleet. Count Fleet is correct for 20 points. <laughs> Bob Nevin has been doing his homework. It's 80 to 40. All right, our first free throw in the new category, the 1976 NHL playoffs, Philadelphia and Boston in the spectrum. Number 27 of the Flyers, Reggie Leach, is about to equal a playoff record. Ladies and gentlemen, number 27 of Philadelphia, the Flyers, remarkable Reggie Leach has scored now in a record ninth consecutive playoff game. He skates in on goal, he shoots it between the pads, he scores! Leach has scored again, that's two for him tonight against the Boston Bruins. It's Leach again, he's muscling his way in on the left side, he jabs the puck, flips it in the upper has the hat trick. Three in a row. Clark down the right wing. Drop pass. Leach. He guns. He scores. Leach has four goals tonight here at the Spectrum and they're going wild in Philadelphia. Leach skates in back and scores. Reggie Leach has tied the National Hockey League playoff record. He scored five goals tonight. The Flyers beat the Boston Bruins six to three. They eliminate the Bruins. It's on to the Stanley Cup Finals against the Canadiens. Well, remarkable game. He had a phenomenal playoff, and of course, Leach tied the playoff mark of five goals in that game, set originally in 1944 by the Rocket, Maurice Richard of Montreal. Interestingly, just two weeks before Leach's five-goal effort that we saw, another forward against the Flyers scored five. Can you name him for ten points? Daryl Sittler. Daryl Sittler of the Toronto Maple Leafs. So it's 90 to 40 in favor of the team. The 1971 World Series and an unforgettable moment for pitcher Steve Blass as the Pirates and the Orioles battle it out in the Game 7 in Baltimore. This 1971 World Series at stake. Fourth inning, no score. Mike Cuellar works to Roberto Clemente. What a series this outfielder has had. The pitch is swung on, a deep drive to left center field. Don Buford to the warning track, to the bleacher wall. Home run! 
Orioles score run the bottom of the eighth inning. 2-1. Steve Blass works to Merv Rettenman. Two outs. No one on for the Orioles. Bottom of the ninth inning. A ground ball up the middle. Looks like a base hit. Hernandez goes behind second base. Jackie Hernandez has it. He'll have to hurry his throw. It's got to be close at first base. And Rettenman is out. The Pirates are the world champions of 1971. Bob Robertson, the first baseman. Steve Blass, the winning pitcher, celebrate. The Bucks are champions. All right, that for Steve Blass was his second complete game victory in the 1971 World Series. No starting pitcher would complete a World Series game until 1975. It became a relief pitcher's game there in 72, 3, and 4. For 10 points, name the 1975 World Series opening day winning pitcher that went the distance. Catfish Hunter? Catfish Hunter is incorrect. 20 points for the Yankees. Who was the opening day complete game winner? 1975. Louis Tion. Yeah, Louis Tion. Oh, Tony, they'd have been on you. <laughs> Louis Tion was the opening day winner and went the distance for the Boston Red Sox. It's now 90 to 60, and with 30 points separating our teams, we come down to our final big classic question that is worth 30 points. So the Yankees are going for a tie. And the Kings, if they get it right, would all but lock up the win today. A very important question. One question worth 30 points. Cleveland Browns, Detroit Lions in an unforgettable NFL title game, 1953. Let's go to Briggs Stadium, Detroit. Cleveland's ball, 10-3 Lions, third quarter. Graham to throw, looking, looking. He has his receivers all covered. Graham tucks it away. Now laterals to Carpenter. Carpenter at the 20, 15, 10, cuts back, and Carpenter is tackled at the eight-yard line. First and goal for the Browns. He needed a touchdown to tie it. Graham with a fly toss, trap play, Jagadi up the middle, touchdown! End of three quarters, the Browns 10, the Lions 10. In the fourth quarter, Groza kicks a field goal to make it 13-10 Cleveland. And now Groza with a long 43-yard attempt. The ball is up, it's high enough, it's long enough, it's good! Well, all season long, Bobby Lane has driven the Lions to wins late in the ball game. They trail by six, but Lane has taken the Lions from deep in their own territory to the Cleveland 38-yard line. The pitch is to Bob Smith. He is hit at the 33, fumbles the ball, laterals to Walker. Walker gets out of bounds at the 25-yard line, but hold it, the ball was dead at the 33. Lane sets his line. Only seconds remaining in the game. It's a bomb to Jim Doran. Touchdown! And the Lions are the champions of pro football. Very interesting thing about that game is the man who caught the winning touchdown pass, Jim Dorn, was in the game only because the starting Detroit end at his position was injured early. The man Dorn replaced was an All-American at Notre Dame, and in 1949, Tony Kubek. Leon Hart. Won the Heisman Award, a rare honor for a lineman. Who was he? Leon Hart is the correct answer, and we have a tie game. After four rounds, it's the Yankees 90, the Kings 90. Remember, fans, we'll be right back. Really, 60 points doesn't matter because we have a tie game at 90. Whoever gets our bonus biography guest wins our sports challenge match. We'll see who that is right after we pause for this timeout. I guess you could say I'm always looking for a challenge. So when I heard Old Spice had this high endurance challenge, how can I say no? It's a long-lasting, white solid and perspiration that goes on clear. Look, no flakes. And talk about stopping wetness. I'm out here all day, and this stuff really lasts. Guaranteed. So take the high endurance challenge and see if you're... Ah! Hang on, little buddy. Did you know that Federal Express, Nike Shoes, and even H. Ross Perot have made their millions using government money programs, and you can too. I'm Matthew Lesko. My new book shows you 15,000 programs that you could use to get a better job, get an education, or start your own business. Those who know about the programs are the ones who get the money. I was able to get money to buy equipment for my business and also a microloan. The government gave me money to live on for six months while I started my own business. I want every taxpayer to know you can get $100,000 to open up a coffee shop or $15,000 to write a novel. You can also get $9,000 to take a computer course or get a GED or a PhD. If I could get $15,000 to go back to school, any woman could do it. Doing what you want to do in life is like being on vacation every single day. Now I'll show you how to get the government to pay for it. So call me. Call 1-800-883-5995 for only $37.95. Money back if not completely satisfied.
Discover the amazing hitting secrets of America's finest baseball school in teaching the mechanics of the Major League Swing 2. Tommy Mansky's powerful teaching video that features the same revolutionary techniques that have produced baseball world's back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back AAU National Championship teams. Parents, players, and coaches have been simply amazed at their students' rapid week-by-week -week improvement. These award-winning techniques benefit players of all ages and ability levels and make a valuable addition to any coach's library and a great gift. At just $29.95, call now. Only ESPN Classic lets you pick what you want to watch Sunday nights. Just log on to ESPN.com on the Go Network and vote for the week's classic click and pick event. This week, click choice one to see Pete Rose surpass Ty Cobb as the all-time hit king. Click choice two to see Indiana battle LSU in an 87 tourney thriller. Plus, choose your favorite sports century biography and we'll re-air it. Then tune into ESPN Classic Sunday at 7 to see if your pick is the classic click and pick of the week. It's only on ESPN Classic. You're watching Sports Challenge, only on ESPN Classic. Well, the score is dead even. The New York Yankees 90 going for their fifth in a row. The Los Angeles Kings, the surprising challengers with 90. And regardless of who wins, thank you, gentlemen, for a great game. Good luck to both sides. Here are your clues for 60 points. This All-Pro was an All-A student at Utah State. He has earned a master's degree with honors in the pit. His brother also plays in the NFL. Though soft-spoken, he rams his way into the opposing lines. He and his friends were a fearsome foursome. Yes, Bob Nevin. Phil Olson. Phil Olson is incorrect. He is number 74 as a Ram and has been worn by him for 15 years. And in all 15 years, he was named to the Pro Bowl. Your answer, please, Yankees. Nick Scott, I think. What is Merlin he? Olson. It's Merlin Olson. That's how close the game was. Bill Olson, the brother, but our mystery guest was Merlin Olson of the Los Angeles Rams. 15 years in the league, 15 years old. Hey, those are fun with that. Those are gonna be very happy to be identified. Well, and you've announced you're gonna play it one more year. Yes, and I'm looking forward to maybe uh, getting a chance to play in the Super Bowl. It'd be a good thing to finish up with. That's the reason that keeps you going, I know. It certainly is, yeah. Right, final question, what comes to mind when you think about being hit the hardest by a man you were trying to tackle, a running back? I had played against Jim Brown many times uh, through the years, and his last Pro Bowl game, I had a clean shot uh, headed for the sideline. I unloaded on him uh, hard enough that I numbed the whole right side of my body. I had visions of Brown rolling all the way into the bleachers. What happened? I looked up. He was 15 yards down the field. He didn't even break stride. <laughs> Merlin, thank you for the visit. A great all-pro, and we're pleased that you were with us. Merlin Olson of the Los Angeles Rams and fans will recap the score right after we pause for this sports challenge timeout. Set your clock for good time. And buggy! And the minute our eyes heat, I knew she was Gladys Knight and I was the Pips. Call now and get in all the good times with Good Times, now on home video. I rated D for Dine O Man. Okay, stop that nonsense before something falls off. Sell me a cup of coffee and make it like I like my man. Hot, black, and strong. Good Times, the collector's edition. Own four of the funniest episodes ever for just $4.95 plus shipping and handling. I'm an odd piece. What have no algebra for anyway? What am I, an Algerian? So set your clock for Good Times on home video. Operators are standing by. To get your first four episode video of Good Times, the collector's edition for only $4.95 plus shipping, have your credit card ready and call toll free 1 800 7540077. That's 1 800 7540077. You know, ideas and inventions come from people in all walks of life, and most of the century's top inventions came from individuals, not companies. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? Are you interested in trying to submit your idea to companies for a good faith review and in trying to patent it as well? If so, Invention Submission Corporation has information to help you get started. ISC is America's largest inventor service firm with over 50 offices nationwide. Call this toll-free number now to see how to get this free information. The information includes forms to assure confidentiality, a form to record and date your idea, plus an informative brochure that explains how to submit your idea to companies through ISC's data bank and how to apply for a patent. 
Even if you only have an idea for improving an existing product, you'll want to call now for ISC's free information. For your inventor's information, call toll-free 1-800-754-0077. That's 1-800-754-0077. Unlike most cheerleaders, I follow the sports that I cheer for. And that's why I read Espen, the magazine. Espen, the magazine, is the magazine for sports nuts, like me. Well, the New York Yankees have won their fifth straight sports challenge game. Quebec, Madeline Larson, perhaps a little lucky to win it. The Kings gave them their best battle in those five wins. We're going to go out and scurry around. We're going to really get yourself, for the next week's sports challenge show, the toughest hombres we can find at this game. And we'll all be surprised at who that might be for sports challenge. Congratulating the Yankees and thanking Merlin Olson for being with us. This is Dick Enberg.